My Mima Mabel shares her amazing fables, The Hippo and the Crane, written by Willie J. Brown III, illustrated by Erica L. Willis. The Hippo and the Crane went for a swim at the pool. They both were very hot and longed to be cooled. They got all dressed up and were on their way, happy best friends who were ready to play. But once they arrived, the move quickly changed, for the hyenas were there, such a laughing gang. Look at the fat hippo with the big old nose. That hippo is so fat, he can't see his toes. Look at that crane with the ugly feathers on his head. He's gonna fall over due to those skinny legs. Look at these two fools, a hippo and a crane. If they jump in the water, be prepared for rain. The hippo and the crane ignored all their jokes. They had a great time with the rest of the folks. The hyenas got kicked out by the security guard. Laughing at other animals is not cool nor smart. The hippo and the crane were both happy and cool. The hyenas were sad being outside the pool. Moral of the story, we are all different and somewhat unique. Picking on those who are different is not a laughing matter. Rocky the Raccoon. Rocky the Raccoon caused such sadness and grief. Rocky the Raccoon was a sneaky little thief. He put on his mask and grabbed a bag and flashlight. Rocky the raccoon was a thief by night. He broke into parked cars. He broke into nice homes. He broke into closed banks. He broke into locked phones. He stole fools from the store. He stole old people's money. He even stole the beehive and ate all the bees' honey. He stole from his teachers, he stole from his friends, but his life of sneaky crimes came to a very tragic end. He tried to steal cable and electricity and received a shocking surprise. Rocky the Sneaky Raccoon was instantly fried. Does anyone want fried raccoon for dinner? Moral of the story, being a thief and taking things that belongs to others is a very bad thing to do. Alvin the Alligator. Alvin the Alligator was both evil and smart. Alvin the Alligator was born with no heart. Alvin the Alligator, always sneaky and rude. Alvin the Alligator, always searching for food. Alvin the Alligator had a devilish idea. Alvin the Alligator created an evil career. He built an animal hospital for the hurt and the sick. But the hospital was just an alligator trick. Sick animals came in, but never came out. The animals got stuck inside of Alvin's mouth. Chomp, chomp, gulp, gulp. He swallowed them alive. And his belly is now where the animals reside. A chicken, a dog, a goat, a cat, a mouse, a pig, a cow, a bat, a frog, a bird, a lizard, a bee. Alvin the alligator, eating patience he sees. Alvin the alligator tried to eat a farmer too. The farmer now wears new alligator shoes. The farmer now wears Alvin alligator shoes. Moral of the story, doing bad and evil things have consequences that eventually catch up with you.
Zig the Dirty Pig. Zig the Dirty Pig liked to wallow in the mud. His favorite food to eat were both slop and crud. He hated taking baths and refused to shower. Being dirty and smelly were his superpowers. His teeth were dark brown because he did not brush. No time for toothpaste, no time to freshen up. His snout covered with mud, his ears filled with wax. Zig had no animal friends, his life was off track. He did not comb his hair, nor did he wash his hands. Using soap and shampoo, not a part of Zig's plan. He never wore deodorant, but he loved to play. When Zig came around, other animals ran away. Why did they run away? What do you think? They all ran away because Zig the pig stinks. Zig the dirty pig, if you want to make friends, take a bath, brush your teeth, and clean your pen. Clean your ears, wash your face. Time to clean up your act. Nobody likes a dirty pig, and that's a fact. Moral of the story, cleanliness and personal hygiene are very important.